Righty ho then. So here's the deal with Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Uh, I know they're a very popular tyre, get all rave reviews right across the internet. Um, they are a very good tyre in my experience. This is my first set, my first car, and my first set. Now, the Evora GT430 uses exactly the same Pilot Sport Cup 2s as the Nylum GT3 991.2. Same size, same compound, in fact they are marked NO, which is the same as the Porsche compound. So everybody's crazy about them. I think they're a good overall tyre. I don't think they're the be all and end all of tyres, but I think generally wear has been quite good. Now the tyres you're looking at have done four track days, but only three and a half thousand miles or so. And wear rates are generally a lot higher than they were in the Exige, but you'd expect that with a higher curb weight. You would certainly not expect to get four track days out of a set on a 911 GT3. And in fact, there is still plenty of tread on both rear tyres. We're nowhere near the wear indicators yet. And both rears have worn really smoothly and evenly across the tyre, which is pretty remarkable when you consider that the Evora GT430 carries a lot more negative camber at the rear than any other Evora. However, when you look closer, and better still, when you run your hand along the tyre, you feel there is a difference between left and right. On the left side, you don't know if you can make it out there, but there's sort of feathering that occurs on the outer edge on the left side. Now, this is even more pronounced at the front. Now I know most circuits run clockwise, which means you're taking many more right-handers than left-handers, and so you'd expect greater wear on the left tyres, but I think there's more to it than that in this particular case. So here's the front right tyre, and again it's worn very smoothly, plenty of life, plenty of tread left, very nice smooth even wear across the tyre. When you get to the front left you see actually that the tread has completely gone from the outer edge and in fact in places it's starting to delaminate the tyre so that tyre is shot. Now this is not a geo issue I had the geometry checked on Hunter equipment and professionally set to exactly where it should be in fact we're running a little bit more negative camber on the front left than is recommended. So it's not that. So what then is going on? Well, I have a theory, and no one is talking about this on the internet, but I've spotted something about Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s that I'm going to share with you now. So here's a pair of brand new front tires which were bought for the car. They are the same compounds, the correct in every detail. And it struck me that they are identical, first of all. Michelin don't differentiate between the left and the right hand side of the car. So for any given size, they all come out of the same mould. Now this consequently makes them cheaper to make and cheaper to buy. Now there are advantages to this, not least that you can swap the tyres left to right to even out the wear on both sides of the tyres. But I do believe that the tread design has been optimised for the right hand side of the car. If you look here, that groove goes downwards. On the other side, it goes upwards. The significance of that, I believe, is that it goes against the direction of rotation on the left hand side of the car. If you imagine those channels working in the wet, they would be pushing water backwards in the right direction as the car is moving forwards, whereas on the left hand side of the car they will be channeling water forwards, uh, so I can't see how that could possibly be optimised for the left hand side of the car. So again, given that most circuits are clockwise and contain more right hand corners than left, it's curious to me that they didn't optimise the tyre for the left hand side of the car, because I am seeing much higher wear on this side of the car and I think that's why I'm getting feathering on the edges of 
that tyre. So anyway, anyone else running Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s, let me know if you've had a similar experience. It would be interesting to know if there's anything to the theory. Until then, I will be making a greater effort to swap tyres left to right between track days. I think that will uh, help a lot. And I will also be trying some of the Pirelli P0 Trofeo R. Now, they are also not directional tyres, but uh, I didn't experience any issues like this with the Pirelli Trofeos that I ran on the Exige. And the tread design looks better in terms of swapping left to right. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, as always, and I look forward to your comments. Plenty more coming on this channel soon, so please subscribe if you haven't already.